Hey guys, Dr. Two is back again with another great set of music tech tips for you. Now today we're going to be looking at some zoom controls, some screen arrangement controls, and all of these will be done with the use of shortcuts, simple shortcuts. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's say you've returned to a project after a bit of a break and you've noticed the windows of your logic project are really badly arranged. To sort this out, it's very simple. All you do is select the screen, then press Command Control M and that will automatically maximize each of the windows selected. So let's go to the piano roll and once again, Command Control M and there you go. One more Command Control M. Okay. Now here's another great little key command or shortcut for you guys, especially with smaller screens where you want to condense everything you're working on within a single screen area without the playhead causing the page to scroll back and forth. Okay, let me just demonstrate here. I'm going to play this part back and you'll see what I'm talking about when the playhead reaches the right margin around the middle of bar eight and the screen display changes. So you want to avoid the display changing and you want to keep everything condensed in one area. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your cycle loop set up properly. So I want to just have eight bars, these first eight bars displayed on screen. And how do I do that? Simple. Hold down the shift, control Z. And there you go. Now, the eight bars that I'm working on will stay on screen. And when I play back from here, there's no scrolling, okay? The same applies down here in the piano roll. So if I was to play back from this point, okay? Now, rather than having to use the zoom function along here or use the zoom key commands, what I can do again, simply click in this screen and hold down Shift, Control, Z, and the entire eight bar section of this region is now displayed on screen. And if I play back here, there we go. Okay, so another really handy keyboard shortcut that will really help save you a load of time is if you end up in a situation where you've got all different sort of track heights, maybe you've been messing about or someone else has been on the system and they've messed around with the height of each track. For example, this one is really sort of stretched out. This one is really compressed um, up here. I can't even get to it. This one down here is tiny and this one is massive. Um, it will take you forever to try and crunch them back down and get them back to their default size, which is around this sort of size. Now the key command or shortcut for this is a little bit tricky because it's command, option or alt, control, shift, and backspace. And there you go. In a flash, everything's back to normal, nice default sizes, and it saves you actually trying to adjust them manually and getting it all wrong. Now that's it for today. I really do hope this tutorial has helped you. Don't forget to check out my other videos and remember to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Of course, if there's anything in particular that you want me to cover, please drop me a line. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. Once again, this is Dr. Deuce. Take good care of yourselves. Peace.